thing. This is the saddest thing. This is sadder than the face my dog pulls when a bigger dog steals her tennis ball and runs away with it. It's sadder than the time someone called me a poor friend and my first thought was, well, no more late night drama, late and phone calls from you then. It's sadder than my mother's fridge, a neat row of pale blue saucers, each containing a tablespoon of leftover lunch, and in the fridge doorway five unopened cartons of milk, just in case. This is sadder than when at 17, 18, 19, your heart broken for the first time. You lay on a bed, quite convinced that you would die because who could endure such pain? It's sadder even than when later at 30, 40, 50, a veteran and multiple failed apart. You know all too well you will survive this break and the next and the next. This is the saddest thing. It's sadder than food banks. Sadder than my neighbor beginning to lose language, beginning to feel meaning, slip away. This is the very saddest thing. It's sadder even than the boy in the doorway, his dog wrapped in a coat and a duvet snug as a bug in a rug. But when I look down, the boy's wearing shoes and no socks. This is the very saddest thing. This is the hearse, and this is the coffin that doesn't fill it. And all the flowers, helium balloons and teddies in the world will not erase that space, will not fill that gap will not hide that hole. It is the very saddest thing. And then the lights change and they go left. And I execute a clumsy right-hand maneuver because actually it's really hard to drive well when you're crying for someone else's saddest thing. Thank you. Yeah.